Hey Zubafam, welcome to my 3.0 character guides for squad mode. In these guides I am going to be discussing loadouts which do include attributes and items, primal instincts, squad game theory, and we will be achieving GM5 by the end of this video. Stay tuned for the full video and if you enjoy it, please show your support by giving this video a like and leaving a comment down below. Welcome back. I wanted to kick off the series by introducing the end. Finn has gone through an extensive makeover. This little pup is guaranteed to melt your heart or eat it. His primal is absolutely brutal. While low health players are nearby, he gains an attack and speed boost, which is nuts as they both happen to be his top stats. Finn's passive allows you to see through or rather smell opponents with low health if they are nearby you. His active is very strong, however it can be very buggy. It does deal a tremendous amount of damage and heals you for 100% of it. Regarding attributes, I personally prioritize cooldown reduction and range for his spear. While I don't recommend knockback spear for most melee characters, Finn is an exception as his health is very low. Therefore, keeping a healthy amount of social distancing can save his life. I evenly spread the range and radius for his bomb, while also maxing out on cooldown reduction. I choose not to spend any points on knockback bomb as increasing the range and radius already should imply that Finn can toss the bomb outside of his melee range, therefore maintaining the crucial 6 feet of social distancing. Lastly, the point distribution for Finn's shotgun can be more lenient as there are plenty of points to fill in most of the attributes. I personally find that velocity can be very impactful for the shotgun, then evenly distributing between cooldown reduction and range as you please. Finally, for items. You have a handful of useful items and squads that you can choose from for Finn, I personally prefer Cluster Bomb, Jungle Shoes, Adrenaline Shot, and Vampire Teeth, but if you require Defib, you most likely would want to give up Cluster Bomb. The theory behind my loadout is quite simple. Finn is a high damage hero with very low health. Therefore, he often and quite easily will fall below the 66% health threshold required by Vampire Teeth to activate. Coupling Vampire Teeth with Cluster Bomb, he is able to heal for more and remain in the fight longer without fleeing. Adrenaline Shot is essentially thought of as a personal defib. In conjunction with Vampire Teeth, you are more freely able to engage with an enemy while lacking sufficient health. This is because you can more aggressively combat and heal with Vampire Teeth without feeling the urge to use a health kit. Jungle Shoes provides a great speed boost for scouting and evading enemy attacks. The places shaded in red are hotspots where Finn is able to achieve his greatest speed potentials. Because Finn has very high swim speed, if he enters a body of water after leaving grasslands, he can quickly engage and disengage an enemy, oftentimes without taking any damage. We start in a very convenient location in the savanna away from the museum. It appears there is going to be a very large fight with the possibility of the GM2 team fleeing to the legendary guard. On the way to the legendary guard, there are two health kits in the form of regular guards. The entire western zone of the map is free of charge, however we may be able to end the major conflict if we rush the legendary guard now. One guard spawned on my left, the other must be north. Oh my god. Nivra stole my kill and then he clowns me with an emote. I will emote him back nonchalantly so he thinks I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I got one. No donut this game. Jimmy Three Penguin on the left, crab up the north. Oh, Flocka. The level 17 looks good on you. I just want to be careful here. I have speed, but they're bombarding heavily up the north. In and out, fast and easy, such a good motto when you're playing Finn. Looks like Luffy aggroed the big dogs. Damn, that took a bite. Okay, retreating into the house. If they get close, I'll have vision advantage. Flocka down. One versus four against a buck down south. We are screwed. Wait, battle's over. Ninja to guard kill. Aw, oh, nuts. Team south and on the bridge. The legendary weapon is a trap. Okay, so the primal is active. I just need good positioning. Huh, that's funny. When I play with lower levels, they almost never carry defib, but when I fight them, they almost always happen to be experts. Down goes the buck.
Yep, no defi for you this time. So chasing a Nyx is against my squad rules, but the game is almost over and maybe someone has a donut. Wow, I, I hate this part of squads the most. Hunting down the stragglers. At least Finn is fast with his primal. Baby team spotted, super chomp to Finn, and Luffy's down. But he's OP. All right, barely got in, but Chow made it in with the defib. Luffy gets the revenge emote. Okay, where's the last guy? Come on. Oh, found him. Perfect super chomp. Sadly, no donuts this game, but hey, GM5. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. Please remember to like, sub, and join, but also if you are ever in need of awesome Zuber merch, please check out the Redbubble link. Your support is greatly appreciated.